Hello, students. So this is again Dr. Shu Prakash Wai, uh, Associate Professor in uh, Government Forestry College, Devanadi. So in this video, I am going to explain you the detailed syllabus of uh, physics second semester according to NEP. Okay, because in the previous video, uh, I think uh, you have seen I have discussed the first semester syllabus of uh, physics. Okay, so that is what actually you can see in the screen: detailed syllabus of first and second semester. So first semester part already I completed in the previous video. Just I will uh, scroll this uh, and then I will go to directly to the second semester syllabus part. Okay, so I'll scroll the first semester syllabus part. Okay, so from here I think you can see the uh, course content of uh, second semester. So in the physics according to NEP, it belongs to Bangalore North University, of course. So the syllabus content is as follows. So the title of the paper is Electricity and Magnetism. Okay. So now in this uh, syllabus unit one, so uh, first unit consisting of uh, 13 hours of teaching, including uh, three hours of activity and problems. So that to be covered during the entire semester. Now let us see the detailed syllabus part. So in the first unit, uh, first chapter is actually the title is electric, electric charge at field. So in which you have to discuss uh, the basics of electric charge, field, potential, gas law. Okay. So these are all the review part applications of gas law, etc. And then uh, second uh, chapter is uh, electrostatic potential. So in this again, we are going to discuss electric potential, line integral, gradient of scalar function, relation between field and potential, constant potential, surfaces, potential due to dipole and electric dipole, uh, quarter pole. Okay, so then the next chapter three is, uh, is all about uh, network theorems. So in this uh, chapter, we have to discuss some theorems like uh, Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem, superposition theorem, and maximum power transfer theorem. So the statements and the proofs are to be discussed. And finally, applications of applications to DC circuits also. Okay, so then <clears throat> after these chapters, there are some self-studies. Topics for self-studies are concept of voltage and current sources, sketch of law, etc. And then the activities to be conducted in the lab. Okay, so whenever you are in the lab, you have to uh, discuss some activities like uh, learn the difference between the DC and AC electricity and their characteristics, voltage and line frequency standards in different countries, a small project report on production of electricity as a source of energy, so that with uh, different methods also. So for that, you can go through the web links like uh, web links or YouTube or some uh, edited uh, proofs also in the form of PPT or uh, PDFs. So similarly, we have uh, activity two also so that activity number two learn to use multimeter okay how to use analog and digital multimeters etc okay and then uh, learn about household electrical connection terminals so which is live which is neutral which is ground etc so these are some basic knowledge for uh, uh, about the electrical uh, connections okay and then voltage between the terminals how to measure the voltage across the terminals roll off or thing and uh, safety measures okay so these are some activities related to your syllabus. Next, uh, in the theory unit two, second unit is actually consisting of again two chapters. So chapter number four is conductors in electrostatic field, conductors and insulators, conductors in electric field, capacitance and capacitors, expression for capacitance in a parallel plate capacitor, parallel plate capacitor with the dielectric, dielectrics, an atomic view, energy stored in a capacitor, dielectric and gas law. Okay, so this is the entire portion comes under the uh, chapter four conductors in electric elect, uh, electrostatic field. Okay, so next chapter is all about the DC currents. So in which electric currents and current density, electrical conductivity and Ohm's law, physics of electrical conduction. Conduction in metals and semiconductors, circuit elements and circuits, transient currents in RC, LR, and LCR circuits, and then force on a moving charge. 
So this is the syllabus content for DC currents. Okay. So for self-study, there are some topics like uh, current and voltage in combination of RLC. Then uh, suggested activities in this uh, after this chapter is learn about the electrical appliances which work on uh, AC and DC electricity. Learn about uh, types of resistors and their color coding. Okay, and identification of the capacitors also. And then learn about power transmission. Okay, how three phase electricity and voltage uh, phases work, works here. And visit a nearby electrical power stations, interact with the line man, electrical engineers and managers, discuss about power loss in transmission. Okay, that means how it reduces in the transmission, etc. Prepare a small project, report if possible, to uh, submit it about the street lighting and types of electrical bulbs also. So these are all some activity related uh, topics. Then <clears throat> the majorly you have to consider the chapter number six. So now with that uh, comes under the unit three. Okay. Again, there are two chapters in unit three. So chapter number six, magnetism. So in which the content of the syllabus is like this. Force on a moving charge in a magnetic field, large force, force on a current carrying conductor in a uniform magnetic field, Biot's Howard's law, field due to straight conductor carrying current, force and torque on a current loop in a magnetic field, principle and theory of moving coil galvanometer, theory of HTG, high tension, uh, Elmholtz tangent galvanometer, ampere circuit law, EMI, Faraday's law, Lenz's law, expression for self inductance energy stored in a an inductor okay so this is the uh, content of the portion under the chapter magnetism okay next chapter is uh, ac circuits so you can see the uh, portions like rms and average value of ac response of series rl rc lc lcr circuits using j operator method quality factor admittance and impedance Power and energy in AC circuits. Okay, so this is a small portion under AC circuits. Okay, so you can see here the number of teaching hours also. So magnetism is the number of hours, eight hours for teaching. AC circuits is for five hours, like that. And topics for self studies uh, can uh, try to understand response of parallel RL, RC, LC, LCR circuits using J operator method. And then to understand the uh, concepts under the activity. So there are suggested activities like uh, prepare a small project report on street lighting and uh, types of electric bulbs. Learn the measurement of electric current using tangent kilometer. And then in the next activity, build a small coil with the insulator copper wire. Connect an am ammeter or micrometer. Verify magnetic induction using the pow powerful bar magnets. Okay. Then the main portion carried out uh, in the unit four okay syllabus for unit four is uh, electromagnetic waves is a chapter number eight for you the portions the under electromagnetic waves is equation of continuity maxwell's equation displacement current equation for propagation and electromagnetic wave transverse nature of electromagnetic wave energy transported by electromagnetic waves pointing vector electromagnetic waves in conducting media and skin effect okay so this is one chapter the next chapter under unit 4 is ma magnetic materials magnetic intensity and magnetic induction intensity magnetization susceptibility permeability types of magnetic materials diamagnetic paramagnetic and ferromagnetic materials Classical Langevin theory of paramagnetism and diamagnetism, BH stresses curve, hard and soft magnetic materials is the portion for magnetic materials. Okay. So, the topic for self studies again about superconductivity and at least two applications of magnetic materials you can try to understand. Next, the suggested activities after this chapter is prepare some uh, small project again on the production of magnetic field, permanent magnets, electromagnetic and uh, superconducting magnets, learn the principles of working of a gas meter of measurement of uh, magnetic field, etc. And then uh, it is followed by activity number eight as model 
the earth's magnetic field with a diagram explain the effect of tilt of earth's axis and reasons for the change in the tilt of earth's axis over the thousands of years etc so something they mentioned here to do some activities after the chapters okay so after this uh, four units you know your uh, theory portion will be completed so for that you can have some reference books like uh, physics part 2 david alliday and robert resnick okay so this is actually published by will say will astron limited publications and then edward parcel for berkeley physics course volume 2 okay reference books only okay the list of experiments okay now if you come across the laboratory part so they mentioned few list of experiment here so out of uh, that experiments i think you have to conduct minimum eight to be performed in the laboratory so what is the list of experiment let us see determination of high resistance by leakage using bg bg means here ballistic galvanometer then determine determination of mutual inductance using bg l and c by equal voltage method charging and discharging of a capacitor verification of thevenin's theorem verification of maximum power transfer theorem verification of superposition theorem then black box experiment that means identification of elements such as uh, inductor capacitor resistors then impedance of series rc circuit okay that means you have to determine the frequency of ac frequency response of lcr series frequency response of lcr parallel resonance circuits okay then verification of loss of combination of capacitance to determine the unknown capacitance using the dsrt bridge so next maxwell's impedance bridge to determine l then determination of bh using the l mode double coil galvanometer and potentiometer so of course they mentioned 14 experiment in the list here so out of that you have to conduct how many experiments minimum of eight experiments to be performed okay and they mentioned uh, the reference books also here so the title of the book is physics through experiments so be sort of then laboratory manual physics for undergraduate classes Kandel wall bsc practical physics by cl arora an advanced course in practical physics chatopadhyay ipc prakshit so okay, these are the uh, reference books for laboratory experiments okay so after that you have elective subjects so you can choose physics as elective subject also or other than physics also you can choose some other uh, interdisciplinary subject as elective in the paper also okay so apart from that so what i discussed is the main syllabus portion for physics in the second semester okay thank you for uh, going through this entire syllabus through this video thank you see you in the next video for uh, third semester syllabus thank you very much